For those of you who don't know me, I'm Keith Smith. I'm Austin's uncle, and I have been blessed to be chosen to perform this amazing ceremony to unite Jess and Austin today. And I know they're thrilled that each and every one of you are here today, and please know that you're all here because you hold a special place in their heart. I was very excited when Jess and Austin asked me to be their officiant. In fact, I was at a loss for words and had no clue what I was going to say. But after taking some time to reflect on the years of watching Austin grow from a snot-nosed little kid to riding motorcycles with Chad and Kirsten, to playing football in high school, road bike races in North Carolina where Austin has mastered the art of the paper boy, to watching him grow to a man that everybody is honored to call their friend. A man who would give his shirt off his back to keep you warm, and a man that I'm very proud to call my nephew. And then there's Jess, his guardian angel. When we first met Jess, she was like a breath of fresh air. She has a way to make everyone feel in the room like they're the most important person there. Her smile is infectious. So after spending some time with them and a couple of Smith trips to North Carolina in the cabin and watching the way they react together, the way he looks at her, the way she smiles at him, I knew the couple they are today and what they would be. Jessica Slee, we met 2,631 days ago. For 2,631 days, I have loved you, adored you, I thank God every day for bringing you into my life. In those days, I've been captivated by the amazing person you are. I have loved everything I've discovered in you, the good, the bad, I truly love you all. Your constant pursuit of a full life to our relationship, our family, and our dogs is what means the world to me. Jessica, your passion to put everyone first and make sure they feel special it's a true act of selfless devotion. You truly have a heart of gold. found my life partner and the one who makes me whole. The unconditional love you have for dogs has allowed you to become a miracle mother to Hoosier, Haley, Pinky, and Indy. Your desire to put me first in your life is something I need that can never be matched. This journey has led you to become a girlfriend, a fiance. And now a wife to a man that has loved and cherished you for 2,631 days. Jess, I promise to make my life forever yours and build my dreams around you. I promise to show you I'm your superman and bring all the groceries in one trip. 
Yes. <laughs> I promise to never take the humor out of our relationship because a good laugh is always needed. I promise to remind you how strong our love is when the times get tough. I promise to keep the communication in our marriage and never go to bed mad at each other. Lastly, I vow to become one with you, leaving myself in the past and embracing my new self as your husband. I love you, Jessica. From the moment my eyes caught you in that drenched light blue Columbia shirt that just perfectly matched your piercing eyes, my heart has never been the same. <laughs> we have fought so hard for this day, and I am proud of us. I still remember the first time you brought me home to your parents. Before we got to the house, you said, just to let you know, we have a lot of dogs. <laughs> my heart fluttered a little bit as I said, that's great, I love dogs. <laughs> little did you know what that the reality of that statement really meant to me. I think you have a good idea now. <laughs> I have never felt more sure of anything in my life. You are my true soulmate, my forever best friend. With you, I have learned to have a little fun every once in a while. <laughs> Not to take life too serious. You bring out the best in me. You make me laugh every single day. You see the best in not only me, but everyone you meet. You will make the greatest dad to our children someday. You have a heart of gold, and I promise to always protect that. We have loved together, struggled together, grown together, and now we grow old together as one. I promise to be there with you through the difficult and easy. I promise to grow together with you and love you more with each passing day. I promise to honor and respect you as long as we both shall live. I love you more than anything in this world. Guys, it's been my privilege to officiate your ceremony today. By the powers invested in me, and the state of Florida, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Everyone, I'd like to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Austin Fee. Austin, you may kiss your bride. You look amazing tonight. You are glowing with happiness and confidence. And I love you. Everyone always tells me just how beautiful you are when you look like you do tonight, which is really a once in a lifetime. And I always tell them that you are so much more beautiful on the inside than you are on the outside. And that shows through. And tonight in particular, it did. You kids are blessed to have the support system you have. Both of the families have worked together, played together, and created a loving support system for you, whether it be a roof, completing, repiping your house, a garden, a load of laundry, or a sleepless night with your four fuzzy friends. You kids have a family that will be there long after the cake is cut. We are proud of what you are today and how much you have grown together. Here's to a new chapter in your life journey as Mr. and Mrs. Fee. I love you both so much.
You put up with a lot of shit from me over the years. Okay? I'm one of those kind of dads if you don't know me. But this guy has put up with everything from me getting in his face to kissing him on the lips. I love him. I couldn't have asked. I'll never ask for a better, better son-in-law. He's like a son. He has been for years. Do you remember the time that Jessica needed you when her, her, be, her beamer stopped? The boy was sound asleep in bed. He'd been up all night fishing. I'll never forget this. I was standing right there at Beamer. She called him. I heard him on the phone. He goes, I'll be right there. As a dad, and if you're a dad out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You want somebody like that for your daughter. Period. That's what you want. You want somebody to put your daughter first. Period. And Austin, my son, does just 